today I wanted to do a completed look, kind of a fresh spring face. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call this video, but uh, I think it was yesterday or maybe the day before I posted a picture on Instagram with blue winged out eyeliner and you guys said you'd like to see a tutorial on it so I thought I would show you that, show you how I've been applying my foundation lately and also some really cool lip combinations that I've been loving as well. So kind of a bunch of things in one video. I do apologize for my scratchy voice. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because i um, just been partying so hard. No, I'm just kidding. I think it's because I've had uh, allergy issues the past few days. And my hair is like total 90s amazingness today, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and keep watching if you'd like to see how I got this look. For the look that I'm doing today, I really want my skin to look pretty luminous and fresh looking, so I'm going to be applying the MAC Mineralize Foundation in NC20 with a beauty blender sponge. So I'm just tapping that more towards the center of my face. So I've already dampened my beauty blender, which when it's dry, as most of you guys probably know if you use this tool already, um, when it's dry, it's really compact and a little bit more firm. And then when you dampen it, it kind of expands like a marshmallow in a microwave. And that way you can apply your, you can blend in your foundation without the sponge absorbing all of your liquid foundation. That used to be my problem with applying foundations with a sponge. I just felt like the sponges would just kind of absorb all of your foundation and then you'd be like wringing it out like give it back. But this product is amazing because it really kind of flawlessly blends out your foundation and makes it look really airbrushed which is what I like. As far as the MAC Mineralized Foundation goes, I have really, really been loving it. It definitely gives more of a luminous look to the skin but it has really good coverage and it seems to last a really long time. It doesn't wear off patchy at all. It just holds up really well on the skin for being a luminous foundation. To set this foundation you would think automatically that the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural setting powder would work amazingly. That was my first choice, um, but to be honest, I don't know, I always end up going back over it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and I think that looks really nice too. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly go through and fill in my brows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Ash Blonde. Today I'm just going to quickly go through just to kind of frame up my eyebrows a little bit. For the eyes, I'm not going to be using a lot of products. This is a fairly easy look. Uh, the first product I'm using is this Cream Eyeshadow Base by Sigma, and this is in the color Provoke. It's basically a matte peach shade. So I'm actually going to be applying this with a domed shadow brush by Real Techniques, and I'm going to place this all over my lid and I'm going to apply it a little bit differently than I normally would a cream eyeshadow. I'm actually going to take it up into the crease and pull it all the way in as far as I can. Use that same brush to kind of blend it out. So next I'm just going to take this shade right here on an E55 brush. This is called Mylar by MAC. All I'm doing with that is starting in the inner corner. I'm going to pat that over top just brush it back over the peach cream eyeshadow and apply it all over the lid so that some of that peach color is still peeking through in the crease. Today I'm going to be using a royal blue eyeliner. So I'm using Waveline by MAC, which looks like that. So I'm going to show you my trick to making it really show up. And this is an E05 brush. So first I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about the wing just yet. I'm just going to apply it to my upper lash line. Okay, so after I've done that, you can see, hopefully, that there are some spots that aren't really, really super vibrant, um, just a little bit thinner in some places than others. So what I'm going to do, if I just went back and kept trying to trace the eyeliner on, it would lift off more product and do more harm than good. So I'm going to let this side dry first and then do the other eye. By the time I've done the left eye, the right eye is probably dry. So now I can go back and work on making that appear more vibrant just by adding a second layer of eyeliner. Still not going to worry about that outer wing just yet. I just want to get the color to look how I want it for now. So I've gone over each eye a couple times and just by nature of doing that it's going to thicken up the line. Then I'm ready to pull the wing out. Sometimes it can also help to start off with a clean brush because you really want the bristles to be nice and smooth and not frayed out for making a more precise shape like a wing. Just going to pull it out like that. Kind of lay it on thick in that outer corner. 
and then I'll go back and clean it up afterwards with my concealer. So now I'm going to do my under eye concealer which really pulls together the look. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds Dark Circle Concealer in the brightening shade and tracing a triangle underneath the inner corner of my eye like that. Then I'm just going to tap my Revlon DNA Advantage in light medium right on top. And for blending, I like this Real Techniques. It's actually a foundation brush. And then this is one you can do a little bit more with your eyeliner as well. You can take whatever brush you're using for your concealer and just guide it right up underneath your eyeliner. And then I'm just going to set it with some of my Bare Minerals Well Rested. And this is a fluffy brush that I got from Coastal Scents years ago. I don't even know if they still make it. I think it's called a Large Sable Blending Brush. Today I'm using Benefit Their Real Mascara. All my mascaras that I was using before, kind of all, all the tubes dried up all at once, so I was like left high and dry. So I went back to this one and I really do like it a lot. Especially when wearing winged out eyeliner, you can kind of take the end of the wand and wing out your lashes. Okay guys, so for some reason, unbeknownst to me, my lips are really scary pale today and I don't know why, but it's freaking me out. So I'm gonna do my lip color before I do my cheeks and everything. Um, I have really been loving this one. This is Candy Yum Yum, really, really bright. And I wear that a lot, but this color is by, um, Candy Yum Yum's by MAC, by the way. And this one is by Milani, and this is in the shade Rose Hip. This is so gorgeous. It's very, very similar, actually. I love both of them. But I'm going to be wearing uh, Rose Hip today. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Um, I love the formula of these Milani lipsticks. They kind of smell like watermelon a little bit, but they're really, really comfortable to wear. This one is more comfortable than Candy Yum Yum, I'd say. Sometimes, regardless of either colors that I'm wearing, I'll go back with Pink Nouveau by MAC and just add it into the center. I'm just going to do a little contouring with my F05 brush and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and Give Me Sun. I need to go in with a really light hand with this so that it matches, so that it works well with my skin tone. And just starting back here, starting a little bit above the top of the ear and then just lightly feathering it down. Same exact thing on the other side. And then I'm going to take it around my temple, around my forehead. Then under chinny, chin, chin. Okay. Then I will pretty much just use my blush to blend it out. And today I'm using the Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink on a Real Techniques powder brush, just right on top. And then I'll kind of blend it down a little bit into the contour area just to help that blend out. And I do the same thing on the forehead. I do like to apply blush to my forehead every now and then just to get some color going on other spots on my face besides my cheeks. Just going to take the same blush brush, I can never say that, that I used and this Lorac Spotlight Highlighting Powder and just go over the top of my cheekbones really, really lightly. That completes the look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to show you how I've been applying the Mineralize Foundation and I've really been loving that a lot, so I wanted to update you guys on that and show you how I do my blue winged out eyeliner. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.